Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all hear me? Ooh Good morning, guys. It is bright out here. I got a flash of little something there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about it in a minute. Anyhow, uh, I just, before we begin and dive into this, thank you all so much for those that were able to make it, for those that drove many, many miles. I'm talking like the top miles traveled was over 4,000 miles to be at our wedding that is incredible like that's that's to here and back home oh god is so good thank you god thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you oh man all right my name is trevor welcome back to the arctic vet uh channel <laughs> i almost said arctic vet family channel because i do have a very first arctic vet family t-shirt on and i feel like i'm blinding you guys so i'm gonna turn around there we go that might be better both Miss Dorothy and Miss AV have awesome just married decals on them that we put on there. Oh man, they look so good. I love it. The pumpkin patch was amazing. It was a great time. The cake was good. The tea was good. Oh, it was just it was perfect. It was perfect. I know it was hot out, but it was perfect. So, without further ado, let's get to the ceremony. Check, check. Test, test, test. Hello. Hello. Thank you all. All right, perfect. Now we're good. Mine was on mute. Good deal. All right. Hey, friends now. and family, at this time, Thank if you. I can ask you to silence your phones and put them away, at the uh, bride and groom would like a, a little bit of an unplugged wedding. And so we have some amazing photographers that are kind of around taking photos and uh, we'll make sure you get all the photos you need. And so we thank you here today for being here today. And um, to start, we do something at New Life where we all attend church. Um, and so I want to invite you to do that. If you'll open up your hands wide for me right now, if you feel comfortable, we're just going to invite Jesus here today. And so you can repeat with me, Jesus, you're welcome here. Jesus, you're welcome here. If you go ahead and place your hand on your heart and repeat after me again. Jesus, you're welcome here. Jesus, you're welcome here. Father, your love. Father, your love. Your goodness. Your goodness. Your kindness. Your kindness. Your direction. Your direction. Your correction. Your correction. Everything you have for me. Everything you have for I me. I desire it today. I desire it today. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Trevor and Jessica, I want to thank you, friends and family, for joining us today to celebrate their marriage. Can we go ahead and make some noise for them? I'm from the South, and uh, as we would say in the South, y'all getting hitched today. <laughs> I want to thank you, friends and family, for joining us. Trevor and Jessica, I want to invite you at this moment to go ahead and take a deep breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. I want you to take a moment to look out. And taking all the people that are important to you, all the people that have been a part of your journey. Groomsmen, bridesmaids, because we're standing here on a dock, I would like to invite you not to lock your knees so you don't pass out because you will fall in that water. <laughs> Dear friends and family, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the covenant marriage of Trevor and Jessica. In the time that they have been together, their love for each other has grown, turning them into the couple you see before you. Now, they are ready to spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. Today, I want to encourage you that you are standing and you are witnessing the miraculous work of God today. Thank you. you are witnessing what I would want to call a testimony. A testimony that brought them into each other's past after unknowingly going to high school together. A testimony that brought them through difficult relationships into friendship. 
a testimony that through dating, Trevor never got friend zone, and Jessica never told him, it's not you, it's me. A testimony that blended all these kids together. A testimony that led them to New Life Church where they were baptized and counseled in marriage. A testimony that brought them through the difficult conversations and hard days leading up to this moment. A testimony that God orchestrated. And so I want to encourage you if you're in this place today and you're in a tough place, you're in a hopeless place, or you're stuck, let me give you an encouragement from the Word. Revelations 19.10 then I fell down at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you. And your brothers who told the testimony of Jesus worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 12, 11, And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. There is a truth today. The testimony in Scripture, the word is do it again. And so today, the very testimony that you are witnessing, that bringing them together in covenant marriage, is the testimony that God wants to produce in your life. He wants to right your wrongs. He wants to transition the hard parts of your life to blessing. And so we thank you today. I believe that marriage and the people that attend marriage, it is an agreement from you to be here today. And I've heard people are driving in from San Diego and Louisiana and all over the place. But I want to pray for them, and I want you to extend a hand if you feel comfortable towards them, because I believe you're making a commitment today just as much as they are. Because friends and family standing here today, they will need you beyond this moment. They will need you in their marriage in tough times to pray for them, to encourage them, to love them. And so right now, as we pray for them, will you extend a hand towards them, please? God, we thank you for Trevor and Jessica. We thank you for this moment of covenant marriage. We thank you for what you've done in their life and how you're going to continue to work in their life. And we thank you for the joy that is set before them, God. And we thank you for today, all these friends and family that are committing to walk alongside them, to journey with them in marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Trevor and Jessica, I want to encourage you today because I've been praying a lot for you this week. And the word I keep getting over y'all is joy. As I saw the kids play yesterday, as I saw it set up and have to pivot a little bit, I just kept hearing the word joy. Nehemiah 18.10, Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat and drink sweet wine. Send portions to anyone who has nothing ready. For this is the day is holy to our Lord. And do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. In marriage, I want to encourage you because what's happening in this scripture moment is the scribe Ezra is reading the word of God over the Israelite people. And they have these people that are translating the word to everyone else. And what is happening is these people begin to mourn and cry and they begin to have this moment where they understand the ways they have wronged God. But what's happening in this moment of what Nehemiah corrects him of is this. This is what I want to speak over your marriage is they could delight in the joy of the Lord because he's, forget, he's a forgiving God, gracious and compassionate. The word there for joy is chedva, joy and gladness. And this is the thing that I'm declaring over your marriage. The joy of the Lord is a constant gladness and cause to rejoice. And your joy in marriage rests on God's joy. So you're not having to pull from empty barrels, but you're having to pull from a God who's eternally joyful. John 7, 17, 13, But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have joy fulfilled in themselves. James 1, 2 through 4. Consider it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. There is a joy that's been given to you, and there is a joy that in marriage is going to get you through testing, and there is a joy that God has given you fully every single day as you wake up. And so my declaration over you is that you'd be a people that understand that the joy of the Lord is your strength in parenting. The joy of the Lord is your strength in friendship. The joy of the Lord is your strength in marriage. And so today we're going to exchange vows. Your wedding vows are an outward sign of your love and commitment. What creates a marriage is promises made and kept in your hearts. Do you have anything you want to share today? No, I guess. Okay. Trevor was just going to wing it today, boys. <laughs> yes, I was waiting come for on. the Holy Spirit to come in. So then I'm going to have you, Trevor, repeat after me as you look at Jessica. 
I, Trevor. I, Trevor. Take you, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. As my wife. As my wife. Again, and give myself to you. Again, and I give myself to you. As your husband. As your husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And joyfully receive your love. And joyfully receive your love. I will always fight for you. I will always fight for you. And lay down my life for you daily. And lay down my life for you daily. I promise to show you the beauty that I see every time I look at you. I promise to show you. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Yes. Come on. I promise to show you. I promise to show you. The beauty. The beauty. That I see every time I look at you. That I see every time I look at you. I will love you without expectations. I will love you without expectations. And share with you all of our hopes and fears. And share with you all of our hopes and fears. I look forward to serving you. I look forward to serving you. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. <laughs> Nourishing you. Nourishing you. And cherishing you as and, my own body. And cherishing you as my own body. I will join with you. I will join with you. As your partner. As your partner. As we discover. As we discover. The width. The width. The length. The length. The depth. The depth. And the height of God's love. And the height of God's love. I cannot wait to share the rest of my life with you. I cannot wait to share the rest of my life with you. All right, Jessica, will you repeat after me? I, Jessica, take you, Trevor. I, Jessica, take you, Trevor. As my husband. As my husband. And give myself to you as your wife. And give myself to you as, my, as your wife. I will always respect. I will always respect. And celebrate. And celebrate. Your leadership. Your leadership. And follow you faithfully. And follow you faithfully. I will love you without expectations. I will love you without expectations. And share with you all of our hopes and fears. And share with you all of our hopes and fears. I look forward to serving you. I look forward to serving you. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. Nourishing you. Nourishing you. And cherishing you. And cherishing as you. As my own body. As my own body. I will join with you. I will join with you. As you partner. As you partner. As we discover. As we discover. The width. The width. The length. The length. The depth. The depth. The height. The height. Of God's love. Of God's love. And I cannot wait to share the rest of my life with you. And I can't wait to share the rest of my life with you. The wedding ring serves as a reminder of the promises you make today to each other. The circle is a symbol of an eternal bond. And if I can get this out of my pocket, I can give them to you. <laughs> There is no beginning and no end. That means you two are stuck with each other. Hallelujah. Come on. Go ahead and take that ring. Yes. Take that ring. All right, Trevor, place the ring on Jessica's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my commitment and devotion. Of my commitment and devotion. I choose you to share my life's journeys. I choose you to share my life's journeys. I give you this ring as a pledge to I love you. Give you this ring as a pledge to love you. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always. Always. And forever. And forever. With no take backs. With no take backs. <laughs> Jessica, you can place this ring on Trevor's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment and devotion. And devotion. I choose you. I choose you to share in my life's journey. To share in my life's journey. I give you this ring as a pledge to love you. I give you a ring. This ring to love you. <laughs> pledge to love you. <laughs> it's all good. Today. <laughs> Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always. Always. And forever. And forever. With no take back. With no take back. Come on. Hallelujah. Trevor and Jessica. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I love you. Give it up Come on. You're so beautiful. Head out.
Congratulations. I hope that you all enjoyed that as much as we did. It was absolutely incredible. It was so beautiful. Man, the way uh, it, it just came together so smoothly for wanging it. Because that's what we do around here. We just wing it. Which, there, there, you may, some of you, like, we weren't able to invite everybody, and it's just because of how we did it. So we kept it small, close, and personal. And that is not to upset anybody or make anybody mad or feel less important. Because we love each and every one of you. And honestly, if we could have afforded to just shut down the pumpkin patch for the day and invited everybody we would have we would have done so however with our budget which will be later on i'm gonna have a video about that but i'm waiting for we're waiting for god's breakthrough i know it's coming i know he's going to provide i know i know it. i trust him it's coming it's coming it's gonna be amazing and that is when we will talk about our budget issue for right now I want to show you guys the first ever keychain key tag. It says EST established 2024 and on the flip side AV family. That is the Arctic Vet family. We are officially established now. This is white and gold and if I get it in the right lighting, I don't, it might not pick it up on camera, but it is a white gold, yeah, there you go. You guys kind of see that on the camera. It's got a gold flake on that white with the gold embroidery. Oh man, it's just, it's beautiful. Our, this was part of our wedding colors as well as an emerald green. Awesome, awesome. And I, I would love to make more of these. However, for right now, there are only 10 of these available and they are available at arcticvet.com and the best thing about this is it's only ten dollars and all the funds from these ten are going towards our honeymoon i know i know it's not much that's not much <laughs> but every penny helps every dollar helps every ten dollars helps every keychain that you buy helps now on top of that you may go to our donations which if you go to our website maybe I'll put up a little thing right here and show you guys a little screenshot of it it'll say donations right about in there somewhere on the menu you just click that and there's a I have a little block of text and it says that you guys can just just put um, honeymoon in your message on your donation and you can donate any amount any amount through our website right there and all that all those funds that say honeymoon are going to go towards our honeymoon now i want to tell you guys a little bit about what we're playing and what we're, what we have what god's placed on our heart and that is to go somewhere that neither of us have ever been neither of us have ever even dreamed of going because it just didn't seem possible or real or like we can do that however god has shown us otherwise that we can and that we will make it there and that is to go to hawaii and have the most incredible honeymoon ever there's so much to unpack with all that but it's gonna it's gonna be a great time it's gonna uh, take us to pearl harbor where my grandpa hooker was stationed he he passed away recently so it's just that much more meaningful anyhow we may have other things coming like this keychain that are going to help us raise some funds for our honeymoon. So thank you guys so much. We love you. We appreciate you. And we will catch you in the next vlog. If you guys enjoyed this one, click that like button. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button as well. And we'll catch you in another vlog. Have a great day and God bless. I absolutely love that gold. Oof. Looks so good. That might have to come to the site too.